What's up, everybody? Sorry for the technical difficulties, but we're on track now. Let's uh, let's get into it. Let's do some shout outs to everybody in the chat. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's get into it. Julian on top. What's up, brother? Hello, hello. What's up? Let me let me pull myself up here. Because this is what we're talking about today. We're talking about creepiness and Halloween and all this awesome stuff. And I hope you guys to get get a, get to experience a little bit of Halloween. Our Halloween party at our school is going to be on Wednesday. And I'll be honest, I got a killer costume. I'm going to rock it again this year. It might not be as, as sound as Fat Batman from last year, but it's going to be pretty awesome. So that's what we're going to be talking about today after we say hello to everybody in the chat. Abdul Rasal, what's up? How you doing? Uh, Lolly, what's up? How you doing, Lolly? Dana's in the house, and Dana's excited. What's up, Dana? How you doing? Uh, let's scroll down. You guys are so early, man. You guys are just hanging out and chatting early. Uh, you guys are good students. Gertrudis is here. What's up, Gertrudis? Uh, who else is in the chat here? Scrolling, scrolling. Judith is here. Hello, Judith. How you doing? Uh, Carlos, what's up, brother? Ahmed, what's up? Inglés, what's up? Uh, Rashawn, what's up? How you doing? Mokhtar's in the house. What's up, brother? How you doing? I get everybody. Uh, I think so. Scrolling, scrolling. Marco, what's up? How you doing? Hope you're having a good day. JB is in the house. There he is, the man himself. Alex is in the house. What's up, Alex? Otto, what's up, bro? Um, Marco's in the house. Yeah, it's a good topic because it's an awesome topic, right? And if you don't have Halloween, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for you because it's a fun thing. You could probably, there's probably going to be some parties somewhere, right? When you go, when you go out, maybe on, maybe it was last weekend where the parties were. But I'm sure there's, you know, even if it's not your culture to do Halloween, that's cool. I'm sure some places would have some party somewhere, which could be fun. I think the biggest thing to remember is that it's just for some fun to relax. If you've never dressed up before, it can be pretty awesome. Um, and you get to do cool stuff like this, like these guys, these jack-o'-lanterns. So on Wednesday, we're going to be making a few jack-o'-lanterns, which is pretty awesome as well. Who doesn't want to do that? All right. So this is, uh, this is something. If you haven't done Halloween, I suggest you come to Vancouver, Canada next year and come for Halloween. And that could be a pretty awesome thing to do. Or maybe America. You can go to America or Australia. All those places. Is Australia, does Australia really celebrate Halloween? Not that, I don't think it's as big over there. It's really a North American thing, which is, we're crazy about it. We love it. All right, let's get into this topic. Tricks and treats, yeah. And we're going to talk about Halloween today. We're going to teach you a little bit about what Halloween is. We're going to ask you some awesome questions. And we might even have time to do some scary, that's scary story writing, okay? So we'll get into that. Uh, so if you guys are new to the chat, this is how we do it. Here's a document. I'm putting this document here. So please, Open that up and you will have everything that we're working on. What's up, Hasham? How you doing? Uh, and Safari King, what's up? Hello, Narek. How you doing? So if you want to hang out with us and do talk about everything that we're talking about, we're going to do some vocab. We're going to do some speaking. We're going to get into the topic of Halloween. We're going to learn a little bit about Halloween. And then, potentially, we might even do a little bit of scary story writing just to finish it off because it's Halloween. And why not? All right, so let's jump into it. Let's start with a few questions just to get you guys going on this topic. So let's start with the, the most obvious question. Number one, do you or have you celebrated uh, Halloween, you know, ever or in your country? So let's start with that. Number one, do you celebrate or have you ever celebrated Halloween before? I definitely have. I've told you. I think I've shown you some of my costumes before. Last year, I was Fat Batman which was pretty amazing, I'll be honest. I, I don't know if I can beat that. That was a pretty amazing topic. And a, a couple of years ago, I was also Rick from The Walking Dead. I was very happy about this costume as well. Uh, I actually won best costume for this costume, right? Like, look at my face. I could do Rick, right? Like, I could do a beard, I could do that. I had this going on, so I grew a beard. I did his hair, I tried to do my hair like his. That was a big, bit of a problem. I had that shirt. Man, I'll try to pull it up, but I did a pretty good Rick. I think I showed you guys before, but it was pretty awesome. So tell me about it. Have you guys ever celebrated Halloween before? Give us some examples. Tell us, tell us your experience with Halloween. And I'm going to try to pull up some Facebook stuff here so I can show you a little bit of my awesomeness from last year. All right, so tell me what you guys got here. What do you think? Have you done it? Do you want to do it? 
Let's see here. Uh, Ahmed says, I'd like to. Well, come to Canada, come to Vancouver, hang out with us, have a blast. Rashawn says, no, I am Muslim, but my parents still let, let L-E-T, let me go trick-or-treating. Okay, well, that's awesome, right? Uh, that's awesome of your parents to do that. Are Muslims not allowed to go do anything with Halloween? Because, you know what I mean? Tell me a little bit more about that, Rashawn. Uh, that's interesting. I'm, I've never heard that before. I know you guys probably don't have it, but you're not allowed to celebrate it. Uh, Ingles. Uh, yeah, well, it's not going to be that scary, unfortunately. You won't be that scared. Hashem, no, I've never celebrated it. Okay. Lali says, not very popular Halloween. Halloween is not very popular in France. I'm feeling sorry for you guys because honestly, this is a pretty crazy event. And we tell all the students, like, I, I lie to my students. I'm like, you know what, guys, if you don't wear a costume, you actually can't come to school. And they're all like, really? I was like, yeah, can you imagine that? That's a crazy rule, but you actually have to do it. Because honestly, if I tell them to dress up, and they don't dress if they if they don't dress up they won't have as much fun it's so much more fun if you dress up just a little bit and then you could run around and do selfies with everyone take stupid videos there's gonna be so many stupid videos at our school on Wednesday they're gonna be crazy I will be sure to come back and share those with you all right let's see Wafa Wafa, uh, it's about Halloween, Wafa. We're talking about Halloween, pumpkins and all that awesomeness, right? Let's see, you know, they, this whole thing, you know that thing, right? Uh, let's see, Gertrude is high. I'm preparing my light practical luggage to come to Vancouver. See you on Thursday. Gertrude, you got to get in touch with me. Uh, you know where I am. It's on the top floor, the fourth floor. You know what time I start. Come see me before, after. Let's let's go hang out. Let's grab coffee. See, Gertrude is coming to Vancouver. Unfortunately, she's missing Halloween by one day, which is too bad. But that's okay. Uh, in my country, Halloween is a big thing, Julian says. But sadly, we don't trick or treat in my neighborhood. Nobody does it in my costume, so we go to the east side. Okay, so some people do it. Yeah, I understand. It's not the whole trick-or-treating. At least there's some parties and some stuff you could probably do just for fun. Or better yet, do a Halloween party at your own house. Invite your friends over. Do stupid costumes. Boom. Done. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, so Rashawn says we are allowed, but we usually don't. Okay. So again, you know, it's a, it's not your culture, right? So maybe some people don't. It's not, it's not a common thing there. But it is a cool experience. I'll tell you that. Pilar, not so much. Judith, in Europe, we don't celebrate this event. I have learned about it in the U.S. first. Yeah, of course. Uh, Abdul Rasul, I don't, I don't have have any idea about Halloween. Okay, no worries. I'm gonna learn a little bit today. Julian, next year I'm gonna dress up as Lolly Lolly. Great idea. That's a good idea for a costume, actually. Uh, Lolly says next year in Halloween in Vancouver. Do it, do it, Lolly. Come over here. It'll be fun. We'll go for beers together. There we go. Uh, okay, all right, Gertrude is saying Mar Carnival is more popular. All right, there you go. Okay, anyways, we're gonna talk about it. I'll, I'll try to show some photos for you guys later while we're doing this. But here, let's go on to number two. Also a great question. This is good thought, and I always try to give some help here. So here we go, here's question number two. Grab that, it's right there. Question number two is, if you dressed up for Halloween, what would be an awesome costume for you? Right? What, would, what do you think would be good? Let's take a look, shall we? Let's give you some ideas. You could be Rick from The Walking Dead, like me. Uh, let's take a look at awesome Halloween costumes. These never disappoint. So let's take a look at some crazy things you could do. Now remember, there are three things you, can, you should do. I think something stupid, always a good idea. Who do you look like? That's always a good idea. I kind of look like Rick from The Walking Dead. I could kind of pull it off. There's a new word for you, pull it off. Let me add that. Let me. I gotta remember to do vocab. Pull it off means you can do it. So pull something off means succeed. All right. So I think I could do this Halloween costume. I think I could pull it off, and people would be like, "Oh man, you look like Rick." Or the other thing is, do a character you enjoy. For example, I did Batman, Fat Batman last year, and that was pretty awesome. So let's take a look at some awesome Halloween costumes that you could do. So while I'm doing this, please give me your answer. What do you think would be a good Halloween costume for you? There's this one, this little boy who's like a soldier, right? There we go. Omen, there's some crows on there. What else we got here? Oh man, that's a merman. I don't recommend <laughs> looking like that dude. Whew, that's a, that's a commitment. But I've seen people do some pretty crazy stuff at Halloween. It's an option. Oh, that's interesting. A little bit of X-Men. 
Oh yeah, look at that. That's that's killer, right? Like a little half one. Boom, take that. That's nice. Oh, little cosplay, little cute Japanese style. There we go, right? A little Japan. What else we got here? That's a weird one. And here's the, la the, the other thing you can do if you don't really want to dress up. I tell my students, just do something lazy, right? Just like put some bread on you and call yourself the gingerbread man, right? It's kind of a funny thing. It's still, it's still better than nothing. Oh my god, this one's funny. I was looking at this one today. Hodor, Hodor. That would be a pretty good one as well. Anything Game of Thrones? I love it. So what do you guys think? Let me get a few of your answers here. Julian says, next year I'm going to Edmonton uh, for Halloween and moving there. Great idea. Look forward to seeing the costume, buddy. Uh, I saw a question about ghosts. I don't believe in ghosts, but I'm afraid of them. <laughs> okay. Well, let's hope you never meet one then. Uh, Rashawn, where is Smart English located? Because we are going to Vancouver before Wednesday. I would be a Fortnite skin. I don't know what that means, but you are going to Vancouver before Wednesday. So uh, if you are looking for us, we are located at this place here. There's a school, there's a school called Canadian College. C C C E C. Let me just put that there. C C E L. So just Google this when you come to Vancouver. C C E L. It's on Alberni Street, and this is where we are located at this school. Uh, Julian, look at my costume for Vendetta. Okay, V for Vendetta. I've seen that one. Lolly, dress up in dress up as dress up as Wonder Woman in disguise. Okay, very nice. Uh, say it again, please. Pull up. Uh, pull off is the phrase of our pull off means you can do it. Like. Like, I think I could do this costume, and I think I could do it well. I think I could pull it off, the costume off. Uh, I hate you, my name is I think a great Halloween costume is always something leaking. <laughs> yeah, and bleeding, B-L-E-E-D-I-N-G. Yeah, it's always zombies are cool, right? Who doesn't like zombies? Okay, let me, let me throw up Julian's here. Vendetta. All right, this is a good Halloween costume from this movie as well. And yeah, like a zombie costume. Um, zombies are popular, right? There we go, little zombie, child zombie. Seen some really funny ones with parents and their children doing zombie costumes. Really amazing, like uh, very creative costumes. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, I would be Boo from Monsters, Inc. All right, let's take a look. Monsters, Inc. I've never seen this movie, but I, I know it's popular. Boo, let's see who Boo is. Okay, this little girl, nice. Oh yeah, that would be a good costume if you could, if you could pull it off. That would be a nice one. Boo Let's see if anyone has. I'm sure somebody's done it. There we go. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Uh, there we go. That kid's doing it. Look at that. Boom. Nice. Okay, so it's been done, but it's a good one. There we go. Very nice. Uh, all right, yeah, bleeding. Uh, what's up, Jose? We're talking about Halloween, brother. Get on in here and join us for this next one. Here we go. Next one. Let's talk it. Let's switch it up. Let's talk a little bit about scary movies. We're on the topic of Halloween. What is the scariest movie you have ever seen? So I'm about to show you. I'm sorry, I'm about to scare you. If you don't like it, look away now because this one scared the crap out of me. That's a good combination. Let's throw that. If you guys think I'm forgetting to write down some English vocabulary, please tell me because I'm, I'm getting excited these days talking about Halloween. Here's a good combination to learn. Scare the crap out of someone. This is a good combination to use. means you are very, very scared that poop has actually left your body. Sorry, I should, didn't, didn't need to explain that, did I? Uh, scare the crap out. Scare someone a lot. All right, so there we go. Scared the crap out of someone. So here it is. I'm going to show you the movie that scared the crap out of me when I was young. It is this one. In I want the old one because this is the one that did it for me. This one. Oh, my goodness. Look at this clown. I think the old one is much, much scarier than the new one. Look at this thing. Look at how angry it is. Oh, my goodness. Gave me nightmares, man. Because in the original movie, this thing was like under the street. You know where the water goes? It's in a, in a gutter, the drain. And this clown was there like with the boy, with the boat. Oh my God. What was the clown doing in the, under the street? Scared the crap out of me. Dress up is a good one. 
Don't haunt me. I'm already haunted by this clown, Lolly. Please leave me alone. Dress up. That's another one we can use uh, to talk about Halloween, right? Dress up is a phrasal verb, which means wear a costume. So what are you going to dress up as for Halloween? Wear a costume. And I'll tell you mine. I'll re but better yet, maybe I'll show you mine on Thursday after it's been done. Uh, there you go. So that was the one that scared the crap out of me. Tell me, what was a, what was a scary movie that you saw? You didn't like it. What was the scariest movie you've ever seen? A Donald Trump costume. That's going to be popular this year, for sure. Donald Trump's hairline. That is scary. Uh, Paranormal Activity. That was... I've never seen that one. I'll be honest, I don't watch a lot of scary movies. Uh, but I've heard that one's pretty scary. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That doesn't look nice. Oh, let's do a GIF, shall we? Let's do it right. Oh, look at this thing. Just hanging out by the bed. That's freaky. What else we got here? <laughs> Did this happen in the movie? I feel like this was the scariest part of the movie where this dude just walks into the broom and they're like, what the hell is he doing? All right, that's the scariest part of paranormal, right? Okay, I'm going to keep that up. Uh, what else we got here? Paranormal, uh, Doctor Strange. Was Doctor Strange scary? I thought, unless it was one of the old Doctor Strange movies. I spelt it wrong. What? Uh, mine was the old It movie. Yeah, the old It movie was scary as heck. Uh, Lolly says, I'll dress up as a phantom and you'll haunt me. Oh my god. I'm not scared of you, Lolly. Uh, what else we got here? Many people are afraid of clowns. True. Is there any reason for this? Why you, you think I know the answer? Because clowns are supposed to be happy, man. You see a clown and you're like, hey, this clown should be happy. Why is that clown angry? It's the most opposite thing in the world. I suppose that's why people would be scared of clowns. So let's look at happy clowns. Maybe they're still freaky. They just look unnatural, don't they? Like how do you... I mean, that's okay. That still kind of scares me, though. That's a little bit crazy, right? You feel scared? I don't know. Clowns are weird, right? They look kind of... Like, look at this guy. This guy scares the crap out of me. That's freaky. Freaky is a new word. Please let, write this down. Freaky is another way to say scary for Halloween. Perfect. Look at how much vocab we're building today. That clown looks freaky. And if you want to take it up a notch, you can say freaky deaky. Uh, that's a new combination for you. It's a little bit of an old school word, but that's okay. You can still say it. So freaky or freaky deaky. Boom. There it is. A little bit scary. Scary and weird. Those two. Okay. All right. There we go. Anyone else? Uh, yeah. Trick or treat. Exactly. Premonition. Never seen it. Okay. Creepy. Poltergeist is a classic one if you've never seen Poltergeist. I heard something that that girl actually died. Poltergeist girl. And I don't think it was because of the movie. I think she had some other problem, right? But there was a lot of, when I was a kid, this one. I remember watching that when I was a kid. There was something going on with that TV, man. Oh, there it is. Look, it's reaching out. But I imagine if you're a little kid and you're making that movie, that's got to be pretty scary. Right, so there we go. There was Poltergeist. Oh, apparently there was a freaky deaky clown in this one. This was an old one. If you want to watch a classic horror movie, that's one. All right, next one. Let's jump into another question here. I got one more for you before we jump into some facts, before I actually teach you about Halloween. So let's do one more before we move on. Yeah, the little girl died. I heard that's really sad. I don't know if it was because of that movie or if it was, I feel like it was because of something else. Uh, chainsaw, that's a scary one. Uh, okay, goats talking about something. I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, I know two happy clowns from Brazil. They are patati patata. I don't want to look at them. I'll be honest right now. Let's go to the next one here. Let's. Do you believe in ghosts? So I know some people were talking about this already. Do you believe in ghosts? And do you have any ghost stories? We've talked about one ghost story before. Somebody had one. I don't. I don't remember who it was, but I know we've talked about this before. So let's talk about it now. Do you believe in ghosts? You know what I'm talking about, poltergeists. We talked about this before. We talked about the supernatural a few classes ago. Let's take a look at some ghosts, shall we? Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a ghost. Oh, there's one. This one looks okay. He's going to work, right? Some so you got to work, even if you're a ghost, right? You gotta you gotta make that money. You gotta 
You know, look at that. Those are those are good ghosts. I like those guys. I'd work with them. Oh, Ghost in the Shell. That's a Japanese. Oh my, what is this? You guys are about to get freaked out. Ah, that's okay. That's not too freaky. What about this one? Oh, that's kind of freaky. Yeah, that could be a ghost right there. What do you guys think? Everyone's gone quiet. You guys are totally freaking out. You believe in ghosts? Yeah? No? What do you think? Give me a, give me your opinion. Oh, this was a scary one, right? This was a, the original movie. Uh, the original movie, I think, was from Japan. It's called The Ring. They made an American version, but I've heard that the Japanese one is still the scariest movie. So go check that out. The Ring or the other one. I think it was called... There's also another one called... What is it called? It's a scary Japanese movie. Juon. This one was creepy. Oh man, where are those kids? There's some freaky kids in this. And the, this one is... Oh my god. Japanese know how to make scary stuff. What do you think? Oh my god, look at that face. Ay ay ay. Why has he got a basketball? Oh, because it's a little kid. Look at this. Oh my god. This, this will give me nightmares. Look at this kid. What is that kid doing? Oh my god. If you guys want a scary one, maybe you should watch this. You might freak out. Japanese make good horror movies, if you didn't know. Okay. I'm going to move away from this. I'm freaking myself out. No one believes in ghosts here. Uh, Lolly says, I know a haunted mansion. And all the ghosts are friendly there. Well, that's nice. That's nice, Lolly. I'm glad you guys are getting along and you got some ghost friends. Pilar doesn't want to believe in ghosts. Just forget about it. I don't want to think about it. And yeah, a haunted house, you know what that means, right? Uh, there are ghosts in the house. Julian says, I believe in ghosts before because I explored uh, haunted and abandoned places. And I saw things like that. So yes, interesting. All right, so there we go. Some people believe, some people don't. Let's jump into the next section here. So here we're gonna, here we're gonna introduce you to a little bit about Halloween. Maybe some of you know Oh, get away from me, clown. Maybe some of you guys know what Halloween, maybe some of you don't. So I'm going to introduce you. So the question is here. Let me throw that in the chat. Today you're going to learn a little bit. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to learn you. I'm going to learn you something. Don't say that. I'm going to learn you something about Halloween. So what exactly is Halloween? How did it start? Today you are going to learn a little bit about Halloween. Look at the following facts and learn any important vocabulary we need to talk about it. So let's talk about this. I'm going to introduce you to a little bit about Halloween. So number one, it says here uh, that Halloween is short for Hallow's Eve, and Eve is evening. So here's a new word for you here. Or Hallow's Evening, which was the evening before All Hallows. So All Hallows was a, is a day, which was important. Which sanctified or holy, maybe you know those two words, sanctified, it's like, it's like a holy, holy day. Or Hallow Mass on November 1st. So I believe the bag origin seems to be German. In an effort to convert pagans, convert, convert means change. Uh, so you want to convert people. Let me put the vocab down here. Convert means change, right? It's a verb. You convert pagans, and pagans are people who don't believe in God. So you you call them pagans. Or no, pagans were the people who had many gods, I believe. Let me just pull that up believe they had many god pagans definition a person holding religious beliefs other than those of the main world religions okay so basically if you had any if you believed in any other religion you were a pagan if the if the main religion was this one and you didn't believe in that one you were called a pagan so there we go so pagans mm, pagans people who didn't believe in the main religion All right, so so there we go. So in an effort, they tried to convert pagans. The Christian Church decided that Hallows, Hallowmas, or All Saints Day, November first, and All Souls Day, November second, should assimilate sacred pagan holidays. So basically, the one religion would kind of. So these were pagan holidays, not, for example, Christian holidays. And Christianity would just absorb that, and then they would have their own holiday. Excuse me. Uh, they would have their own house. So they would basically steal, join, welcome uh, this other holiday. So they would assimilate. And assimilate is similar to adopt or take. 
Okay, so they would assimilate a uh, sacred, again, that holy pagan holidays that fell on October 31st. Okay, so there you go. So there's one little tip about it. What do you guys see here? Yeah, it was a pagan feast. There we go. Before uh, JC, <laughs> before JC, I love it. Celtic traditions, yeah. Halloween was a pagan feast. There we go. Same answer, good. What is the benefit of this lecture? Talking about Halloween because it's awesome, I believe. Uh, all right, so there we go. Let's take a look at another little factoid about Halloween. Trick or treating, and you guys know what this is here. This is trick or treating when they go around and they dress up uh, little costumes, right? Trick or treat. This is what the kids do in Canada and the USA. They walk around, you get candy. It's a pretty good gig. You walk around the streets, you dress up in these cute little costumes. Uh, usually there's an age limit, so don't try it if you're above 13 years old. You walk around in these cute little costumes, you walk and you say trick or treat, and you get a treat, it's candy. Most people give candy, but you could get a trick where somebody would do play some practical joke on you, which was more fun, honestly. Come out and scare the kids, more fun. But nobody really does that. Most of the time the kids just get candy. So that's trick or treating. Evolved. Okay, so evolved is kind of like grow. So here's a word we can use. Uh, so evolve, develop slowly, right? Like evolve. Okay, so trick or treating evolved from the ancient Celtic tradition. So again, uh, kind of an Irish background of putting out, putting out treats, snacks you know like something sweet and food to placate I think I need a definition for this word placate is like make them happy you placate the spirits I believe please maybe please would be a good one pacify calm appease yeah make someone less angry okay make less angry you want to make the spirits less angry you want to make them happy with you so you give them food and of course everybody's happy when you get food so they would put out food on the door to placate spirits who roamed walked around Rome is a good word we can use to talk about spirits they roam around the streets travel like travel uh, travel without plan uh, at Samhain, a sacred festival that marked, marked, showed, uh, kind of designated mark. Mark the end of the Celtic calendar year. Okay, so there we go. Trick-or-treating evolved from an ancient Celtic tradition where you put out treats and then the spirits would be less angry at you. And so basically they kind of adopted that, adopted that tradition. How are we doing so far? So this is what we're talking about. Some new words here you can learn. Uh, last year I got a cake <laughs> for Halloween. Good for you, Julian. Uh, Zabar, my parents don't love. I always get to be an Can you just say I matter in this world? You do, Zabar. You definitely do, buddy. Uh, what is the main religion? Um, great question. I think you guys will have to search that because I'm going to get you to search it afterwards. So I believe that the tradition was a Celtic tradition and then Chris, I don't know which, I believe Christianity adopted it because it says here it's a Celtic tradition. So that's kind of an Irish background. Uh, you know what I mean? Back at you, big guy. Um, so I think that's where it came from. It was this tradition. Okay, so we'll keep going and I'm going to do a few more, but then I'm going to send you guys out. So you guys feel free to do your own research. Uh, could we get up and say, could we talk about, could we say, get up when we talk about costume? I'm not sure the question on me. Can you ask that again? Uh, dress, I think it's not get up. No, get up, you would, you know, would normally say, ah, get up is kind of like a costume, but we would say dress up when we wear the costume. Ooh, nice word, Lolly. Heebie jeebies. When you feel scared, you get the heebie jeebies. Very nice. All right, let me, let's do one more here. Uh, the owl is a everybody knows an owl yeah let's do this here let's throw that up here an owl so this one you know this one this is an owl okay and an owl is a popular halloween image in medieval europe a long time ago owls were thought to be witches 
Everybody knows what a witch is, right? Let's do a little photo of a witch. So people thought... <laughs> South Park. Awesome. People thought that owls were witches. Give me a real witch. There we go. This is kind of a witch, right? This is kind of a witch. Not any good witches here. None of these are witches. There we go. There's a witch. So people thought that owls were witches. Uh, and to hear an owl's call, sometimes animals call, they make a noise. So an animal call was meant that, ooh, that meant somebody was going to die. So a call is the sound of an animal, right? An owl call, a crow call, a lion's call. I guess it could be a lion. Usually for birds we use call. But there we go. So it basically meant people thought that when you heard an owl, somebody was going to die. That would give everybody the heebie-jeebies. Everybody would be pretty, pretty, uh, pretty freaked out. There's another one, freaked out. Uh, okay, there we go. Uh, Judah says, in Europe, we celebrate All Souls Day. The people go to a cemetery or the cemetery and give flowers to their relatives who died before. All Souls Day is a holy day set aside for honoring the dead. Okay, so there we go. Similar, I guess it's connected to that tradition. And the day is primary, primarily celebrated in the Catholic Church, which is interesting because I'll, I'll be honest, I don't remember. I, was, I grew up Catholic, but I don't really remember celebrating that. All right, I'm going to do one more. And then I think because we're running out of time here, I'm going to get you guys to show me, get me, find me some new stuff. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to do number six. Uh, so let's do this one here. So black and orange, you know on Halloween you always see black and you always see orange. Black and orange are typically associated with, uh, okay, this is a combination of words you can use, usually connected to, typically associated with. Orange is a symbol of strength, right? So if you see orange, it's strong. It's, if you see orange somewhere, you say, oh yeah, it's strong. Of strength and endurance. Endurance is a word which means you can do something for a long time. When you run a marathon, you need endurance, right? Or you need endurance training. And along with brown and gold, stands for the harvest. Uh, stands for. Here's a new word for you. So stands for is a verb combination, verb preposition combination, and it means uh, means, right? Stands for. You stand for freedom, uh, which means you. I'm oh, sorry. Let's not use means. Represent. So stands for the harvest and autumn. Okay, so colors, right? In autumn and fall, you get those light colors, those browns, those yellows. Black is typically a symbol of death and darkness and acts as a reminder. Acts as, basically, kind of acts as. It's a combination, I guess. I don't know what that is. Acts as, basically is, a reminder that Halloween was once a festival that marked, showed, again, the boundaries, the lines, yeah, the boundary, the boundary between Canada and the U.S., the boundary, marked the boundaries between life and death, okay? Kind of like a border, boundary. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. Oh, Zia's in the house. What's going on, Zia? What are you talking about? Well, welcome, buddy. How you doing? Uh, Alright, so there we go. So here we go. I've given you a few facts. Now, I would like you guys to do this. Can you please, as normal, i like you guys to do some work as well, not just me talking all the time. Your turn. Please do this. I want you to search the internet and I want you to find some interesting Halloween facts. I gave you a few. Give us some more, okay? So go off, go off into Google Land and find us some interesting facts about Halloween. And it's pretty easy. All you do is that. Go here. And I'm going to Google Halloween facts. And you're going to get a bunch of websites. So I would like you guys to find me some information. Teach me something about Halloween. I know a couple things. Super weird things you didn't know about Halloween. That sounds like a good starting point. I like weird stuff. So let's check it out. Let's see what they... Let's get rid of these witches. All right. Oh, that is a weird fact. I didn't know that at all. It says here, the internet tells us, originally you had to dance for your treat. Much more interesting, right? I think we should reinstate that rule where you have to dance. You want, you want candy, kid? Show me a dance. Show me something. Maybe a song, maybe a dance, maybe a, maybe a little magic trick. Boom. Then you get your Mars bar. That's a great idea. Uh, what else we got? 
Bilar says the ancient precursor to Halloween began with the Celts. Okay, so the Celts started the tradition. Okay, this is an interesting one. Uh, what else we got here? Halloween is more Irish than St. Patrick's Day. I did not know that. Let's see, wh what's up with that? Let's see, Halloween origins come from a Celtic festival we know uh, for the dead called Samhain. Okay, so this is a new word, I don't know. Celts believed the ghosts of the dead roamed the earth, walked around the earth, so people would dress in costumes and leave treats out on their front door to make them happy, right? We knew that. Granted, the Celts were not solely based in Ireland. Okay, so the Celts were around Europe, I guess, when these customs started taking shape in the first century BC. Uh, but, as we'll be talked about more in a later section, the Irish Celts were the ones who invented the jack-o'-lantern. And if you don't know a jack-o'-lantern, this is a jack-o'-lantern. We, we showed them earlier. The pumpkin. These are the jack-o'-lanterns, right? These things. And those are pretty cool. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, this Halloween prototype was eventually disrupted and adapted by Christian mis missionaries. So Christianity basically adopted this holiday and made it their own. Okay, there we go. What do you guys got? What did you guys find? Uh, okay. <laughs> thank you, Brahim. I've gotten that one before. I've gotten the Adam Levine look before. I don't agree, but thank you very much. Uh, Clebson, people believe when an owl flies over someone's house and sings, someone is going to die. That's right. To prevent it, people frighten the owl and say some mantra. Okay, so mantra is something you say again, again and again and again. You repeat and you repeat a mantra to frighten the owl. Interesting. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, huh, 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 huh. Okay, yes it does. Ziad, Halloween is the second highest grossing commercial holiday after Christmas. I saw that one earlier. I don't know if it's talking about America or if it's, you know what I mean? Where is it talking about? Because it's not popular everywhere. But I wouldn't be surprised because it's huge here, right? Everybody's going out, buying costumes, dressing up. It's awesome. Uh, what else we got here? A person who becomes a wolf when the moon is full is a werewolf. I did know that one. Uh, Julian, Halloween is a holiday for children to explore, exercise, and get, most importantly, get free candy. That's true. I love the candy part. Dana, the first jack-o'-lanterns were actually made from turnips. That's interesting. This is a turnip. So, that's interesting. That would be hard because they're so small. So I can't imagine how they would make a jack-o'-lantern from turnips because pumpkins are way better. There you go. Didn't know that. All right, what else we got here? Uh, hey, teacher, what is the scarecrow action called? I don't think the scarecrow does anything. I think the scarecrow, scarecrow just sits there, right, and scare, maybe scares off, scares away, right? A, a scarecrow would sit there, do nothing, and, the, and it would scare off the birds or scare away the birds. So maybe scare off. So let's add that in there. Scare off is a piece of vocab you can use. You scare off someone. Freezel verb. Mm, make them leave. From fear. All right, very nice. Keep that there in case anything else comes up. What else we got here? Mm -hmm. Some hynophobia is the fear of Halloween. I saw that when we're looking on the same we uh, same website. Ziad, some hein, because that's the original word for Halloween, right? Judith, although it only became popular in the early 1900s. Halloween dates back almost 2,000 years. That's a good combination. Date back. And you can think of, oops, and you can think of dates back as started. Pretty easy, right? Date back. So it dates back, uh, where is it? 2,000 years when it marked the Celtic New Year, originally known as Samhain, which means summer's end in Gaelic, the end of summer. Many Halloween customs and traditions customs, things you do again, traditions, right, have roots in pagan beliefs. Roots. Um, have roots in something. This is a good combination. Again, s basically means started. It's another way to say start. Have roots in uh, pagan beliefs and Irish folklore. Folklore, here's a word for you. 
folklore are stories, right? Like maybe myths and folklore. Um, you know, famous stories, we don't know if they're true. Folklore. We'll just call them famous old stories. All right, very nice. So you had 50% of kids receive, prefer to <laughs> receive chocolate candy compared to 24% for non-chocolate. Okay, everybody likes candy. The largest pumpkin ever measured was grown by Norm Craven, who broke the world record in 1993 with an 836-pound pumpkin. So that's how big they can get. Let's see, biggest pumpkin ever. That's a pretty big pumpkin. Look at that. That's a pumpkin. That is massive. Ooh, look at that. Is that real or is that fake? That's got to be fake. That, that, one, that one's real. Look at that one. Oh, my God. That'd make a seriously good pumpkin pie. I don't know if you guys have ever had pumpkin pie, but it's awesome. Totally recommend making it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's amazing. I don't know how they made that, but that's pretty awesome. Look at that. Boom. You can get a close-up on that. Good detail. Breaking out of the pumpkin. Very nice. All right. What else we got here? Uh, uh -huh. The movie with the scarecrow who can fly in a group of students in a bus is very scary, don't you think? I don't think I've seen that one, buddy. I don't think I've ever seen that one. Uh, the first known mention of trick-or-treating in print in North America occurred in 1927 in Blackie, Alberta, Canada. Boom! There we go. So maybe we are one of the first ones. Lolly, you do not frighten me, I'll be honest with you. Uh, why do children knock at the doors and say trick-or-treat? Good question! Rahim, what do you think is the answer for that? There's a, there's a tradition there, and I think we talked about it earlier. The tradition was... Uh, good question. No, we talked about why they left food at the door. I don't know if we talked about why they say trick-or-treat. Rahim, that might be your job, but I want you to go out there and find that answer. Just Google, why do people uh, say trick-or-treat? Or better, nah, I'll do it for you. I'm a nice guy. Why do people say trick or treat? Let's check it out. So it says here, children of all ages dress up in costumes and travel from house to house to receive treats in response to their call of trick or treat. This phrase is a subtle, small suggestion that if a treat, for example, like candy, is given, then the child will not perform a trick ah, on the owner of the house. So basically, if you give me candy, I won't, I won't, not destroy, I won't vandalize your house. I won't do anything bad to your house. Because uh, one thing that happened, especially in my hometown, was called egging. And this sometimes happened on Halloween. And the police would get involved. You would egg someone's house. You would basically throw eggs. Or the other option was you toilet paper, you teepee someone's trees or someone's house. You throw toilet paper all over their house. This happened when I was younger and like I said the police would sometimes get involved some people would actually go out and throw lots of eggs at people's houses um, was it a big problem I don't know it's damaging and you gotta clean it up and it smells terrible so I guess it was a big problem so there you go don't do it uh, alright okay alright here we go uh, Ziad I cannot tell you buddy but I will I do promise to show you on Thursday I like to keep a secret and it will be more awesome if I show you rather than just tell you. So I'm going to keep that one in my back pocket. But I, I promise I will show you some videos if I, if I have them or at least some photos of my costume on Thursday. All right, so here we go. What we're going to do, we've got one more thing i got planned for today. I'm going to read you a scary story. And, and we'll see how we go with this. So here we go. So take a look at the reading here. It's on the document here. I'm going to do my best to read you a scary story, and you tell me if you think it's scary. I'm going to might get you to write a little bit of your own if we got some time. So here we go. Let's start it. So here it is. A young boy is sleeping in his bed on a usual night. He hears footsteps outside of his door, and he peeks out. Just looks looks outside out of his eyes to see what's happening. His door swings open quietly to reveal a murderer carrying the... They didn't really spend a lot of time building this story. His door swings open to reveal, to show a murderer carrying the corpses of his parents, the dead bodies, the corpses of his parents. After quietly propping them up on a chair, he puts the dead bodies of the parents on the chair so they're sitting up. 
he writes something on the wall in the blood of the dead body. So he takes the blood of the bodies and he writes it on the wall. And then he hides, he quietly goes under the child's bed. The child is scared beyond belief. The, the child is so scared, it's cr the child is crazy scared. He can't read the writing on the wall. And he knows that the man, the murderer, is under his bed. Like any child, he pretends, he thinks. He slept through the whole thing and he hasn't awoken yet. He's thinking, it's a dream, it's a dream, this is not real. And he lays still. He lays still. He s stays on his bed quietly as the bodies, quietly hearing the breaths from under his bed. So the bodies are still there, but he can hear <sighs> under, his, under his bed. An hour passes. After one hour, his eyes are adjusting more and more to the darkness. He can see more and more in the dark. He tries to make out the words. He tries to read the writing on the wall. But it's difficult. It's a struggle. He gasps when he finally makes out the sentence. Finally, he understands the sentence. And he gasps. And the sentence says, I know you're awake. And he feels something move under his bed. Scary story. All right, so there it is. A little bit of a scary story for you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to use your own, your own creativity and your own evil thoughts. Lolly's got a few today. Perfect timing for a creepy story. So here's what I'd like you to do. On this document, there are 10 different beginnings. No, there's not 10. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would like you to choose one of these and I would like you to finish, to give us a little bit more. So you can use your own creativity and I would like you to give a little bit more detail about what happens in the story. I don't want you to write a full story, but I would like you to write a little bit more. Tell us. So remember, Halloween, we like to tell scary stories, scare the kids a little bit, just for fun, right? Um, not too much. Some kids are pretty sensitive these days. But anyways, we're going to write a scary story. So I, you can choose any of these that I'm putting into the chat there. And I'd like you to give a little bit more detail, okay? So do your best. Do your best. Show us some creativity. Give us some scary story using your own ideas. Choosing any one of these that you want. And I'll help you out as well. So here we go. There's five options. Do your best. Do whatever you want. Give us something scary. <laughs> there you go. Zed's on it. All right, so there we go. So go ahead and choose anyone and do your best. Add a little bit of vocab, maybe something you learned today, or maybe just your own ideas. Which one am I going to choose? Hmm. All right, I'm going to choose number one. So here we go. Give us your own idea. So the old abandoned house was covered with moss. It looked like it had grown out of the ground. It looked like it had grown out of the ground and, f and formed this old soulless house, which nobody loved. which nobody could live in. Boom. All right. So again, covered. Here's a word. All right. Covered with moss. I don't know if you know what moss. So let's, I'll show you a haunted house. A mossy house. Like that. This is moss. All that green on there, that's moss. So that's what I imagine. An old house in the woods somewhere. Something like right out of a Blair Witch Project or something like that. Oh, that looks amazing. I so I want to build a house. It's a little hobbit house. One of these days, man, I'm going to leave Vancouver. I'm going to go buy my own property. I'm going to build a little house like that. I'm going to go live in it, at least on the weekends. All right, what do you got here? So Julian's got one. The old abandoned house was covered in dead sticks. 
blood, dead bugs, and was broken down. It was falling down. I didn't think it was haunted until I saw Donald Trump in it. And then you knew that it was a haunted house with Donald Trump. You know what's haunted when that man is inside the house. Look at that hair. It's creepy. All right. Next one. Uh, what do we got here? Brahim, for trick and treat, children move from one house to the other for a trick or a treat. So there we go. We got the answer. If you choose trick, they will play a trick on you. That's right. Nowadays, most people go for the treat. Nobody really does the tricks anymore, Brahim. I don't know why. We should do the tricks. We should do the tricks more, but most people just give candy, and that's fine. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Mm hmm. Ziad's got one. I didn't think the house was actually haunted until a spooky spook, a scary ghost, walked in on me while I was changing. That would, uh, who got scared there, Ziad? Was it you got scared or was it the ghost got scared? I don't know, man. Uh, all right, so let's do another one here. Express your Halloween creativity here. I jumped up from my bed when I heard a loud bang on the outside of my door. It was impossible. impossible I was there alone my parents had gone away for the weekend the door slowly slid open it was mr. potato head He said, you have changed my face for the last time. It's time to change yours. Boom. This is Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head, you could change his face, you could move his eyes around, give him different ears, right? See? There he is, there. But eventually Mr. Potato Head got angry and he decided, that's enough. It's time for me to change your face. There we go. There's Mr. Potato Head as well. There we go. Very nice. Yeah, I make a... Uh, I'm not bad. I can do some pretty good stories. My students appreciate my stories because they're always terrible. Usually some somebody dies, like some Disney character dies or something like that. I've killed Winnie the Pooh a few times. So there you go. Could I send the document again? Yes, I can definitely send it one more time. All right, there it is. Anyone else got a story that we're going to do here? We might have to wrap it up there for today. Anyways, a little bit of creative writing for you there, a little bit of scary story just to introduce you guys to Halloween. So if you are able to dress up, do a party for Halloween, I always recommend it. Uh, remember, awesome Halloween costumes. They don't build themselves. Hey teacher, could we watch this class again on YouTube? Yes, you can always check it out again, Inglés. You can uh, always watch it one more time and you can, you can, like I said, I'm giving you the documents here, but you can always go on the website and check it out one more time. Uh, before I do leave with this, let's do some scary costumes before we leave. Let's see, some people do some really good ones. Look at that. Boom. See how good you can, see how good Halloween costumes can be? They can be amazing. Some people who do makeup, they do the most amazing Halloween costumes out there. That's pretty creepy. That's pretty ugly. Look at that. More scary clowns, right? That's how good. Look at that. That's amazing. Oof. That's too good, right? Mine's not going to be that good. These girls are quite scary. Look at that. That's creepy. You can even do the lenses there, right? What else we got here? Oh, yeah. There it is. There it is. That one's not scary. That one doesn't bother me. But the other one scared the crap out of me. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? A little zombie, you know, as you do, right? Zombies, everybody. Oh, look, it's a, it's a kitchen zombie. Barbecuing gone wrong. There we go. Oh, look at that. All right, very nice. little scary one. So there you go. Uh, I needed to talk to you about one little thing. We will be introducing some new features to the smart setup, which I will tell you about in the near future. But for now, don't forget to check us out. We're live right now. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Not this one, you know, smart English, this one. Check us out, it's all right there. And uh, there is some new features that will be coming up that I hope you guys will be interested in, so you can check that out later. And there it is, 
Uh, Inglés, you can always go back and you can check out everything we've done. You can talk about, look back on some of the other topics that we've talked about, uh, whether it be grammar or whether it be some, a lot of other topics. Or you can check out Kareem's Dream Stream. There's me, and there's also tons of videos out there that you guys can check out and learn about. Boom. Trust issues, Brahim. That's, an in, that's a pretty interesting topic. I, I don't mind that one. That could be a good one. Keep it in mind. I'll see if there's, a, if there's a good match there. Maybe we can do something on trust issues. I had one about secret thoughts. That seemed like a good idea. We'll see how we go. So anyways, that's it. That was it. A little bit of, little bit of an introduction. Help you guys learn about Halloween, know what it is and how it goes. I will be sure to send you some photos and some videos possibly on Thursday when I come back. Uh, it's going to be pretty awesome. So I'm excited about it. Got to finish it up. So that's it. Have yourselves a great week, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you on Thursday. Don't forget, Thursday, 2.30. Back again Monday at 3.30. We'll be back. Uh, have yourselves a great week. Happy Halloween. If you're going out and doing something, be safe. Don't be too crazy. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.